Hey friends, did you know that God was a poet? Get your Bibles and let's go. All right, if you got your Bibles, go to Ephesians chapter 2. And I'm sure you all know the scripture very well, right? It talks about that by grace we have been saved. It's through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. But when we go to Ephesians chapter 2, when we go to verse 10, right? We've always heard it say that we are his workmanship. So let me read it from the New American Standard. It says... For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Well, in the literal Greek, in the, in the, in the original Greek translation, uh, the word workmanship is not um, uh, what we would say like a structure, right? Because the modern Greek says it's the structure, it's a workmanship, it's, a, uh, it's an ergo, they call it, it's a, it's a work. But the, in the Textus Receptus, in the original Greek manuscript, it says that we are his poema. And you'll see it on your screen somewhere down here in Greek, but it's poema. Now, our translation in the English for poema is poem. What? Let, let's read that again now. It says, for we are his poem. That's what the little Greek says. We are his poem created in Christ Jesus for good works. So let's take a look at it this way. That God, in order for us to be his poem, that means there has to be a poet, right? A poet writes poems. So God has to be a poet as well. Now think about what a poet does. A poet like Maya Angelou, right? She writes from her heart. She's creative, right? She looks at something and she, she feels it and she writes about it. She expresses her feelings through words. Well, God expressed himself, his creativity, his, his heart through a poem. He, and that poem wasn't just a written poem, but that poem came to life. And that poem is you and me. Every single person on this planet is a poem that was written by God. Original poem. It's not a copy. God doesn't plagiarize anyone. God makes every person an original expression of what's in his heart. It's, a, it's, his, it's his, everything inside of him is brought out in you. And you are his poem. Go to James chapter 1, verse 18. We see something else here. I think that's pretty cool, don't you think? That you are poetry in motion. You are an expression of God's heart. James chapter 1, verse 18. Now we look at James who is Jesus' brother, right? Yeah, I mean, think he knew a little about Jesus. He says this, he says, In the exercise of his will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, so that we might be, as it were, the first fruits among his creatures. So what does it say uh, that in the exercise of his will? It literally says in the Greek that God willed to make us. He wanted to create us. It was his heart's desire. It came from within. You know, it wasn't something he thought of. He wasn't just sitting around a boardroom table and going around the room and say, hey, Jesus, what do you think? You know, the Father, you know Holy Spirit, what do you think? Uh, Michael, the archangel, what do you think? No, he didn't do that. He didn't have a brainstorming session. He actually willed it. It came from inside of him. It flowed from his heart, from, from who his, his very essence, God willed to create you and me. And when he did, it says there was creativity behind it. So you are his creation. He is the creator. But you're not just an accident. You're not just a, uh, a creation that he just dropped a blob of uh, clay and you came out. No, you were a creative 
part of him. So think about it. There's 8 billion people on the planet and God is still writing poems. Every time somebody is born, God, born, God writes another poem. I want you to think about all those babies that have been aborted. They're all poems that have been written by God. Wow. So think about it next time you look at yourself in the mirror. You know, we are his poem created in Christ Jesus to do good works. There's a lot of good inside of us. Why? Because we are an expression of the Father's heart. I hope this was a blessing to you. We'll see you soon. Hi, my name is Artie Casimas. Thank you for watching the last video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and by all means, subscribe to our channel. We have many more videos coming out. They're going to be short, sweet, to the point, just the way I like them. They're not going to be long sermons, but they're going to be full of the Word of God. Also, we ask that you consider becoming a monthly partner. Go to our website, www.wordalive.us, and go to the Give tab. And please remember this, Jesus is Lord, and He's coming back real soon. God bless you.